Lisa. I'm going to stick this over there. Thank you, bud. <sighs> hmm. Hi, folks. We are here cooking another one. And Zabby wants to help me today, so I don't I don't think you'll stick around that long because this is looking like it'll be you know, half an hour, an hour, or something like that. But we'll see. He might just stick it out. But this one is a uh, crispy onion crusted chicken from Home Chef. The uh, same company as the other one we did the other day. Both. No, the other was quite delicious, actually. The fish was good. The Brussels sprouts were great. Anyway, with this one, we've got our chicken. They sent us 12 ounces of chicken. 12 ounces of chicken, that's um, two thirds of a pound, so it's about one third of a kilo. No, wait. Yeah, yeah, it's about one third of a kilo. And we have some baby bella mushrooms, some green beans or baggio beans, string beans, whatever you call them, some cream sauce. Uh, our crispy onion bits. And flour. Okay. Now, I'm not going to make the mistake I did last time. We are supposed to preheat the oven to 400 degrees. So, there we go. That one's preheating. Our garbage bag. Hi, hi. Okay, real quick. The ingredients on this are going to be mushrooms, fried onions. I have no idea where you're going to get fried onions in the Philippines. To be honest, or to be honest. Probably a YouTube video would tell you how to. Looks like they're maybe deep fried? Not positive, but you can probably find this one. Uh, green beans, a little bit of flour, and the cream sauce, and some chicken. Um, not sure how much mushrooms cost, but I don't remember them being that expensive there. So. This should be a relatively inexpensive meal. Cream sauce, this basically looks a lot like, it looks a lot like, like a Nestle all-purpose cream. I'll tell you more after we open it up and see what we have. Okay. So, starting off, let's see. Fresh produce, we're gonna have to rinse it. That means the mushrooms and the green beans, we're gonna have to rinse. Get out our colander. I'll start with the green beans. Ay, ay, ay. Oh, 
pardon our mess and everything. Ruby is getting ready for the new year, so we have lots and lots of round fruits and things. And <laughs> so, we have new decorations. And there's Ty. He's coming over to take a peek. Okay. So, now that Tyler's come over and disrupted the apples, tipped over the apple cart, well, uh, I'll get back to this. Uh, coarsely chopped crispy onions, cut two mushrooms into one-fourth inch dice, cut the remaining mushrooms into one-fourth inch slices, keeping dice and slices separate. Okay. No idea what that is, but hey, that went along. For diced, for sliced. Mm -hmm. Get our second. Actually, you know what? Move it more there like that. Now, what's going to be fun is pretty soon we're going to have to get Zabby over here prepping all this stuff for us. Because let's face it, the only tedious part of cooking really is it's the prepping. Oh, well, yeah. That and the waiting. But the waiting, you can do other stuff. Number Hey, hey, I wish I knew more about this stuff. I could tell you all the details of it and everything, but I don't. fun things about watching actual chefs is they will give you the exact how and why and what to look for. All I know is I throw them together, cook them a certain way, and it comes out good and What's I'm happy. That blinking? Okay, pause again. What? Blinking. Drinking? Blinking. What do you mean drinking? It's like the lights is blinking. Blinking? Yeah. Okay. What lights are blinking? Over there. I've not seen any lights blinking, no. I just saw it. Do you guys see a blinking light? No, probably blinking. Uh, doing this. 
Good man, we, we're all looking down. I don't know. Bazinki. Hey, speaking of which, we're going to turn the uh, Christmas lights on. We've only got a couple of days left before we take that down. Oh, Christmas tree. Okay, folks. Now, something I didn't do on the very first few, and I did do on the latter ones, is cut the very bottom of the stem off, because I noticed after the my third one, that the bottom of the stem is actually tough. What were you about to say, Ty? It was the same thing, wasn't it? I don't know the second thing where the, the next thing where the Well, oh, what does it say there? Read it. Mm, swim in the we can do that. Yeah. But it's, I think that's the green You are correct, sir. But that's a lot of them. So I don't think it would be. Well, fortunately, green beans are roughly the same length. So what we can do is we just tap them down to where the ends are all together like that. And then we turn all of them at once. Then you tap them over on the other side. And we can trim all of them at once too, okay? Okay. Probably costs us a little more than we need to, but it's quick, it's efficient. I'm for it. Thought of that though. Thought of what? I never thought of just grabbing them all together and cutting them together. Oh, well, mm -hmm. in all fairness though, you haven't cooked much, so. Teaspoons. T S P is teaspoon. T B S P is tablespoon. Teaspoons, teaspoon of salt, and one out of four teaspoons of pepper. One, one fourth. Not one out of four. One fourth. You know your friends. One Come fourth on. out of salt and one fourth out of pepper. Mm hmm. One fourth salt, one fourth teaspoon of salt, one fourth teaspoon of pepper. Yeah. I think we can do it. I'm pretty sure. Now the funny part is, Zabby came over, all geared up and ready to go, and said, hey, can I help? And he hasn't got a chance to do much yet, and he's really eagerly waiting to jump in there. And yet, along comes this guy over here and just says, okay, I'm going to start reading this to you, okay? Some people, am I right? <laughs> Why did that look satisfying? I don't know. It looks like steak being cut. Like hmm. Interesting, since it has a savory flavor too. I don't know. Steak is not that tender though. That's more like cutting up uh, marshmallow. So after the uh, green beans was patting the chicken dry? Yeah, and season both sides with one fourth of salt and one fourth of a teaspoon of pepper. 
Unfortunately, you guys cannot reach the salt or the pepper without the stool, and we don't have a stool in here right now. Can I get the teaspoons? Sure. We got those new fancy ones, too. Those are awesome. Mom got us new teaspoons and measuring cups. Thanks to me. Mom got us new teaspoons and measuring cups. And these are really cool because... Are these the ones that had the uh... It's 32, huh? One pinch, one dash, one... What's the other one that I don't know of? I don't see that written on here. It is! Not that one! There's one more set! Oh! Oh! There's the other set. The teeny tiny set. Yeah, for all those recipes that you got that you're like a pinch, a dash, and all that stuff, they've got these little tiny ones here, and they're actually written on there. A smidgen a pinch, a dash, and a tad. The tad being the biggest one and a smidgen being the smallest one. Anyway, okay. One fourth of a teaspoon. Okay. Yep, that's our one fourth teaspoon. And I may as well go ahead and grab this out. I really want to do this. When you get to salt and the pepper, can I do it? Yeah, sure. Okay. Possibly. Um, but we have to do this first. Okay, let's, uh, what are we doing? Pat chicken dry. Okay. With, uh, and then... Okay, guys, here's how I usually do this if it makes a little bit of sense. Not a whole lot of sense, but a little bit. Um, lay a paper towel on there first. And then I will take this over here and drain the excess off in the sink. Otherwise, you just end up with uh, a whole lot of wet paper towel there. Yeah. Then we'll bring it back over, pour it out on there, and then we can pat it dry. Okay? Yeah. 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 Then we say, and then we come over and use this towel to pat it dry. Yep. We'll set it on top, get around the sides, the edges. It's okay, Zab. I don't want you to get salmonella on your hands. On both sides. After you handle chicken, you have to. <laughs> and then both sides, I will put the pink soap. Okay, I almost threw them on the floor. Didn't though, that's the important thing. Almost, but not quite. <sighs> okay. Now, we've pat them dry. Now what? Season both sides with one fourth teaspoon of salt. And pepper. Mm. Okay, one four basically one fourth on both sides. Salt and one fourth teaspoon. Okay, just a minute, just a minute. Let me let me wash my hands real quick. One fourth teaspoon of salt and one fourth teaspoon of pepper. Hey, more really cool stuff that Ruby got us. Soap dispensers, two different types. There's normal hand soap, and then there's dishwashing liquid for the oily stuff. Here, I'll hold this, you scoop it, 
pull it across the top slowly. Wait, wait. Yeah, you didn't fill it full. Fill it full. Pull it across the top. Alright, you gotta pull it level. Now, tap it out, spread it on the board. You kidding? Okay, what? Okay. And the reason we did that is because I'm gonna basically spread it out on the board and everything here, and then we'll put the chicken on top of it. But we don't, we're not able to do that with the uh, pepper, so I'm just going to grind about the same amount of pepper on the board as what we have for salt, right? Yeah. So we got about as much pepper as we do salt there, right? Yeah. So we will we'll do the bottom side. Yeah, both sides. It says both sides. Yep, yeah, I'm doing the bottom side first. Satisfying. I mean, how does it? Yeah. What See, the top side doesn't really take that much because it's smooth and everything, and stuff just falls right off of it. The bottom side picks a bunch of it up. Okay, what's next? Here, I want you to cut the top off of this, throw it in there, and then sprinkle this in there. Okay, our prepared 
says how many to how many? 17 to 20 minutes. Mm, okay. This might take a long. Okay. Yeah. We have to pat it to fill it in. And that's all we do is just press the uh, onion bits in and stick it in the oven for 17 to 20 minutes. We like to be on the safe side so we'll go with 20. Why 20? Because it's longer. Okay, what time is it? 20 minutes will be... 34. Okay, what's next? Huh? Oh, we haven't done any clues. Oh, well, I don't even know where my phone is for the clues. <laughs> Okay, folks, we'll catch you up on some blues here. Who's got a pencil and paper so we can write these down? Let's go on the way. Squishy. Yeah. Where's paper? Um, here. Paper. Yeah, all right. Huh. We're off video a little bit here. Sorry about that, folks. Okay, so. Okay, Zabby, give me the first number. One seven three five, Debbie says. All right, that's our first number. <laughs> okay, what are we doing next, then? Um, place a large nonstick pan over medium high heat and add one teaspoon olive oil. Okay. <laughs> oh man, I hate this part. You hate it? <sighs> bending over. I hate bending over. Oh, 
Three, the man says. Thank you, sir. Thank you for your contribution. Um, this is a little piece. Place a large non-stick. No, wait, the yellow one did that. Uh-huh. Um, add green beans, one fourth teaspoon salt, and one fourth teaspoon teaspoon pepper to hot pan. Sir, can you normally until tender? Uh -huh. Wait minutes. Okay, so where did those teaspoons go, Ty? I wish I had a bigger pan, but we don't. We really ought to consider investing in a second set. They're kind of limited. Oh, 
okay. They're not that hot. And don't worry, folks. I always wash the, the stove off before we start our videos, so we're good. Dad? Yes, sir. I just realized something. What's that? Yes, sir. Remember when we used to make our own sour cream in the Philippines? I would use five of the one eighth spoons of uh, citric acid. Why not four of the. Why not? Oh, um. uh, yeah. Can't do it with the one fourth. You end up with five eighths, and five eighths doesn't reduce. This is our dice mushrooms, right? If you think I'm doing something wrong, let me know before I do it, if you can, okay, Bubba? Okay. Okay. Although I have no idea. Uh -huh. Sorry. Okay. Well, there we have it. Live and learn. And besides, I mess up all the time on these. The big thing is, can you recover or not? I can. do worry. Okay. Well, we're going to have to have some more dice ones now. So I'll have to dice these real quick. Or should I say Murphy was an optimist?
Yeah. Okay, folks. Yeah, this cream sauce is definitely more of a sauce. There's a buttery smell to it. Bring it to a boil and then what? but it was pretty messy. what we're going to plate it. This is what it'll look like once we actually get it on the plates and everything. So the chicken with the uh, the sauce, creamy sauce, and peppers and mushrooms. Actually, the peppers and mushrooms smell pretty good, I gotta say. I'm kind of eager on that, but I'm also eager on the chicken. It looks pretty delicious. <sighs> okay, so... vegetables. I'll actually be using it for vegetables again here in a minute.
Mm -hmm. All right, nice and white all the way through too. Kind of wanted to check out on that as well. Okay. Scoop our sauce over here. So we won't do a whole lot of veggies on Thai Thai. We haven't even tried out the veggies. So. True, we haven't. I'm pretty confident that they're delicious. Me too. I'm pretty confident the whole thing is delicious. Yep. Six digit number one seven five two six nine. So that's our final number, and now we'll see how this tastes. Give it a try, Ty. Here. Okay, Ty's going to try the mushrooms first. He's thinking he's probably not going to like that, so he's going straight for it. Let me get you a piece of chicken off there. Oh, sorry. And I guess I will. I am just Eight curious. out of ten on the mushrooms. Eight out of ten. Do you really like the mushrooms? Yeah, before I ate it, I ate it. But now it's like I got the cheese. After I tried the cheesy mushrooms, I usually got to like the mushrooms. Mm. I will give you some more then. Okay. What's the verdict on the chicken? Savvy. Together? Okay. Green beans? I just did a. Mm. Eight out of ten. I'm with these guys. Overall. It was five out of ten. I'm going to go about an eight out of ten for everything all together. It really is good. Hmm. Seven out of ten. The um, seven out of ten for the green beans. Have you tried the chicken yet? Mm -hmm. Not yet. But the mushrooms, I think I am now giving it a nine. Okay. Okay. Can I try the mushrooms? Mm -hmm. The chicken's pretty good. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. As far as the sauce goes, it. It's like cream with a lot of buttery flavor in there, almost like cheese. But if you go just go with um, um, your Nestle all-purpose cream that you get in the, the box, unless you got a better cream, that's fine too. And then maybe a quarter of a stick, or even for the whole thing, a half a stick of butter. You saw how much we had. It wasn't a whole lot. But 
but uh, mix some butter in with that, and I think it'll be better really close to this, this cream sauce. It's not, not that difficult, I don't believe. Mm. Yeah, it's very good. Okay, bye for now. Hey folks, I forgot one or two things here. Um, one big thanks to Zabby for actually sticking with us through the entire meal process. He's over here finishing eating and everything right now. And there's Tyler, he's pretty much already done. And the other thing was, uh, after eating that, I realized with the uh, crispy onions, you can get the same flavor, not the same texture, but the same flavor, by simply sauteing onion and putting them on top. Well sautéed onion, um, with, in butter preferably, but you could do it in olive oil just as easily. Then put those on top of the, uh, of the chicken when you put them in the oven and everything. Overall, really tasty meal. Quite enjoyed it.